Well, Haley, very little surprise. Vancouver housing prices, they've been known to be going up, right? They have. Okay. Well, there is a new campaign that launched in just a few years ago. Move up Prince George. It's gaining traction among young families looking to relocate. And with us to discuss these efforts to encourage families to move north is Melissa Barcelos. She's the manager of economic development at the city of Prince George. And also with us is Kim Pickett. She's the founder of Kimbo Design. She also worked on implementing this campaign. Melissa, Kim, thank you guys so much for joining us on the program today. Hi, thanks for having having us. Well, Melissa, let's start with you. Just explain to listeners, what is this concept behind Move Up Prince George? Well, um, in 2014, when we started this campaign and had the website designed by Kim, we were experienced a major, experiencing a major shortage of workers in Prince George. We had tons of jobs um, that were paying high incomes, but we were having a hard time recruiting people to fill those positions. And as an economic development office, our job is to support existing businesses to grow and diversify. And when we identified that as a major constraint for them, we knew that we had to take action. And that's what spurred this, this campaign. Well, so far, you know, you guys implemented a little while ago. What has the response been like from people uh, just e- examining the possibilities of moving elsewhere in British Columbia? It's been fantastic. We get phone calls daily from people across Canada asking us questions about Prince George, about jobs here, about what it's like to live here, and um, getting feedback about how helpful the website is for them. They can literally log on to that website and get a good feel for what Prince George is like without even having to travel here or visit. Well, speaking of that website, we have the designer here, uh, Kim Pickett. Uh, Kim, Hi. Tell me what goes into doing a campaign like this, because it's it's a unique campaign. It's not something that maybe you typically get assigned. Tell me a little bit about uh, your process implementing something like this. Yeah, so in terms of our, our pro- process, um, well, we had great uh, research uh, material and we had great people to work with as well. Um, so we had a lot of insight to what it would be like um, to live in in Prince George and 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 what a beautiful place it is. So we we really uh, used the the great imagery and also um, all of the um, areas that uh, that people were attracted to, such as um, the healthcare and the the hospital, the schools, and uh, we created. Um, uh, an amenities map on the website so users could actually get a feel for um, the schools in the area, uh, the hospitals, um, the neighborhoods, and uh, what it would be like. So if they didn't have a chance to actually visit, they would get a, a real sense of of what it was like because we had a lot of users that were coming from uh, different countries um, and also uh, different areas in in North America. Kim, are you based in Vancouver? Yes, uh, we're located in downtown. And have you been to Prince George yourself? Yes, well that was part of you know my process and the the Kimbo design process is to to really get in um, involved with our projects. So that was one thing that was a must for me and I, I had a great uh, tour guide, Melissa, <laughs> and uh, she she took me all over, and I, I had a great time. Um, I I love the outdoors, so uh, visiting uh, the parks and lakes and the uh, the magical forests that are up there, it was it was great. And I had a nice uh, run in the morning as well. Um, uh, so you know, it is for that that kind of work life uh, outdoorsy type. Um, uh, person uh, mm-hmm. for sure, and it it is like a a, a mid sized city, so you still get a sense of city, but also um, the the um, kind of outskirts of of the city as well. So both. Melissa Kim touched on it a little bit about why what features Prince George might have and why that might entice someone to move. But can you talk a little bit about the amenities Prince George has and the availability or the demand inherent in its job marketplace that would be attractive to someone looking to move? Yeah, as as Kim mentioned, we did a lot of research about what people were looking for when they were choosing a place to live. So 
it, through that research, we actually came up with top 10 reasons to make a move, and those include buying your home is a realistic goal. So prices in Prince George for houses are much lower than a lot of the cities in Canada, and especially those cities that we're trying to recruit from. So currently, the average price to buy a home is $284,000 in Prince George, and that gets you a nice um, two-bedroom home, or sorry, five-bedroom home possibly um, that's been possibly completely redone. Um, my house personally is from the 1950s, was completely redone, and I bought it for $249,000. Oh. So uh, that's our first reason. Then we're actually central. So we're very well connected to Vancouver. We have an international airport. Um, we're not as re remote as some people think we are. Um, we're among the front-running cities for job creation. Uh, we have over 2,000 hours of sunshine in a year. Uh, even in the winter, it's sunny and blue skies. Uh, people love being outdoors. We're accessible. You won't spend your free time stuck in traffic. I think that probably means a lot to some of the people that might be listening right now. We're the region's center for health care. We have fun for the whole family, um, lots of parks and outdoor space. We have top-notch education facilities, so we're home to the University of Northern British Columbia and the College of New Caledonia, and we're urban. So we are a city of just about 80,000 people. Well, that is so Melissa are... Barcelos. She is the Manager of Economic Development at City Prince George. She's also joined by Kim Pickett. She's the founder of Kimbo Design. They both worked on this latest project, Move Off Prince George, a campaign to encourage more young families to move to this as Melissa just said, mid-sized city. That's more urban than a lot of people think. Melissa, you're running off a lot of the great amenities, a lot of the great reasons to convince people to move up north. What? And then, Kim, you please uh, join in with this question as well. But sure. So you have you know, th this great thing to sell people, but how do you get people to pay attention to this? Is there a social media campaign? How do you guys actually get the word out there after you, you know, design this website, start this campaign? Mm -hmm. So I, I think that was the easy part. So, you know, we really uh, thought about uh, locations of, of where the target audience would be and those people that were looking to relocate. Uh, so we we really hit key areas where they would see the advertisements. Uh, so such as the SkyTrain, um, some billboards in um, areas where uh, the, the labor pool was, uh, high and, um, across Canada. And, uh, also on, uh, online, we did a lot of, uh, Facebook advertising. Uh, we did some Twitter and, uh, Google AdWords as well. And then, Melissa, on your part, did you have any goals set in mind about just attracting a certain number of people or even just like reaching out to a certain number of people, uh, getting eyes onto this campaign? We didn't have specific numbers in mind. We wanted to see uh, people relocate, and we wanted to see um, an increase in the number of job postings by local companies on the website. So that's how that's how we mainly tracked the campaign. But um, some of the kind of fun anecdotal results we got were really from the bus ads. So there's mm -hmm. ads in the buses in Vancouver and Calgary right now, and people mm -hmm. have started tweeting mm -hmm. uh, pictures of themselves sitting on the buses in front of these ads and sending to them to us and having some good commentary online. And we love that. It's fun. We're always behind the computer monitoring that and providing any information that people are requesting online. Kim, tell me, what, what are these uh, bus ads that uh, Melissa's talking about here? Yeah, so the, the one that really hit home with people was uh, the housing affordability. That, yeah. That's that's an easy one. It's it's in the media. Uh, people are talking oh, Melissa, about it. Melissa, she, she bought yeah. a home for $250,000. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. That could get you maybe half a condo in uh, downtown Vancouver. Exactly. Cool. Um, so, you know, it was, it was a smart ad, very subtle, but it really provoked uh, people thinking about, you know, the housing prices. Um, so it really connected with what is going on right now. And I think that's why there's a lot of eyeballs on our campaign. And it's, it's being very successful right now. 
So just, Melissa, as we wrap up here, we've got about 30 seconds left. But I mean, if you're going to look at Vancouver versus Prince George, maybe people have, you know, different things in mind that they want. But I mean, uh, you mentioned, you know, the home prices, how it's urban area. But what is like maybe one last selling point that you think is really important for people to understand uh, if, if they're considering making that move from the lower mainland up to central British Columbia? You really have more time to enjoy life when you're here. Um, The travel time to and from work is lower. You have more money to um, go out and do activities and spend time with your family and your kids. Um, There are lots of videos on the website, so I encourage everybody to check out moveupprincegeorge.com and watch some of the videos and experience Prince George for yourselves. Well, thank you so much, Kim and Melissa, for joining us on the show today. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Well, that is Melissa Barcelos. She's a manager of economic development at the city of Prince George. And we're also joined in studio by Kim Pickett. She's the founder of Kimbo Design.